NASA successfully landed its Perseverance rover on Mars. China has successfully landed its first rover on Mars. Their life on Mars, it's a question scientists have pondered for years. But now we might be close to an answer. Over the course of human history, the fascination with the red planet has captivated the imagination of nations venturing beyond our world. In more recent times, an influx of fresh revelations has reshaped our understanding of Mars, thanks to the relentless pursuit of knowledge by various countries. Both the Chinese Space Agency and NASA have taken center stage. So began the search for life on Mars. Each deploying rovers on Martian terrain, unearthing a wealth of new insights that have transformed our perception of the enigmatic planet. All these recent discoveries may have left you wonder, how does the approach towards the Martian planet differ by both these agencies? Today's episode will compare the recent approach to Martian missions by CNSA and NASA. This is Race to Space, and if you like watching content like this, consider subscribing. China's Recent Discovery Chinese scientists have achieved a fresh breakthrough during their investigation of data collected by China's Zhurong Mars rover. This discovery has confirmed alterations in the Martian environment's wind and sand activities, which could offer valuable insights into predicting climate changes on Earth. The findings of this research have been made available through an online publication in the esteemed scientific journal Nature. This milestone has been shared by the China Lunar Exploration Project CLAP, on its official WeChat account. Among the various planets within our solar system, Mars stands out as a planet with considerable resemblance to Earth. It is widely regarded that Mars' existing condition and its evolutionary history could potentially offer a glimpse into the future of Earth. Consequently, the exploration of the climatic evolution of Mars has captivated the scientific community's interest. Wind and sand activities have been instrumental in shaping the extensive distribution of sand dune formations across Mars' surface. Lai Chunlai, a research fellow at the National Astronomical Observatory of China, Chinese Academy of Sciences, elucidated, wind and sand activities can be said to have recorded the characteristics of the late evolution and recent climate environment of Mars, as well as the process of its climate change. However, due to the lack of detailed and systematic scientific observations in situ and at close range, we still know very little about the process. To tackle this pertinent scientific inquiry, researchers harnessed the capabilities of the Zhurong rover. Equipped with high-resolution cameras, navigation terrain cameras, multispectral cameras, and other advanced tools, the rover conducted a combination of remote sensing and proximity investigations within its designated landing area on Mars. Through meticulous analysis of the data collected, the researchers unveiled substantial evidence indicating shifts in the wind patterns in the region where Zhurong touched down. This evidence exhibited strong correspondence with the ice dust layers identified in the high latitudes of Mars. This correspondence suggested that the landing area might have undergone two significant climate phases characterized by alterations in the direction of the prevailing winds. Remarkably, there was an almost 70-degree shift from the northeast to the northwest. This change in wind dynamics led to the transformation of the wind-sand accumulation pattern, transitioning from crescent-shaped bright dunes to elongated dark sand ridges. The climate transformation took place around 400,000 years ago, coinciding with the conclusion of Mars' most recent ice age. This climatic shift is believed to have resulted from fluctuations in Mars' axial tilt, causing a global transition from an ice age to an interglacial epoch. The CLEP conveyed that this remarkable research has provided valuable insights into Mars' ancient climate history. It has introduced a novel standpoint for comprehending the climatic conditions of Mars in antiquity and has imposed significant constraints on global climate simulations for the Martian environment. Lai Chunlai underscored the broader implications of this research by indicating that it could potentially impact our comprehension of Earth's future climate evolution. This revelation opens the door to the notion that studying Mars' climatic changes in the past might offer insights into the trajectory of Earth's climate in the years to come.
NASA's Mars rover has made a remarkable discovery that could revolutionize our understanding of the planet's past potential to host life. The unearthing of ancient mud cracks by NASA's Curiosity Mars rover is sparking intrigue and excitement within the scientific community. These mud cracks, a testament to bygone wet and dry seasons, hint at a history where Mars may have nurtured microbial life. This revelation serves as a pivotal addition to the growing body of evidence that suggests Mars was once a more hospitable environment than previously envisioned. While these mud cracks are not the initial indications of Mars' potential to support life, they provide yet another compelling piece of the puzzle, underscoring the potential for curiosity to uncover even more tantalizing clues. Since its touchdown on the Martian surface in 2012, the car-sized Curiosity rover has embarked on a mission of unparalleled exploration. In 2021, it stumbled upon a collection of exquisitely preserved ancient mud cracks while ascending the towering Mount Sharp within the Gale Crater. This discovery could potentially revolutionize our perception of Mars' climatic history and its potential for sustaining life. The significance of these mud cracks lies in their resemblance to distinctive hexagonal patterns. These patterns, believed to have been formed during a series of wet-dry cycles, are reminiscent of Earth's own weather phenomena. William Rapid, the lead author of a groundbreaking paper published in the esteemed Nature Journal, elaborated on the discovery. This is the first tangible evidence we have seen that the ancient climate of Mars had such regular, Earth-like wet-dry cycles. Wet-dry cycles are helpful, maybe even required for the molecular evolution that could lead to life. Curiosity's meticulous analysis of the Pontors region, where these mud cracks were first encountered, unveiled a rich tapestry of minerals. The area is characterized by a juxtaposition of clay-rich sections, indicative of past water presence, and sulfate-rich portions, hinting at periods of desiccation. Notably, the mud cracks were found in a transitional zone, providing a glimpse into a pivotal phase where prolonged dry spells took precedence, causing the regression of the once expansive lakes and rivers within the Gale Crater. The intricate process of mud crack formation unfolds as mud dries, fracturing into T-shaped junctions, which subsequently transform into Y-shaped structures when subjected to repeated water exposure. Over eons, this interplay results in the preservation of hexagonal patterns, echoing a narrative of environmental fluctuations etched into Mars' geological tapestry. These wet-dry cycles are integral to the creation of polymers, the elemental building blocks of life. It's worth worth noting that while these mud cracks are not an isolated revelation, NASA emphasizes that their discovery constitutes a crucial stride for the collective body of evidence, including previous indicators of Martian habitability, synergistically contributes to a more nuanced and comprehensive understanding of the planet's history. With each new revelation, the potential for curiosity to unearth further revelations escalates, captivating the imaginations of scientists and enthusiasts alike. The pursuit of knowledge beyond our own world has propelled humanity's imagination and curiosity to unprecedented heights. The concerted efforts of space agencies, notably NASA and the China Space Agency, in exploring Mars have yielded remarkable insights that are reshaping our understanding of the Red Planet and its potential significance to the broader cosmic narrative. NASA's relentless commitment to unraveling Mars mysteries has borne fruit through missions like the Curiosity rover, which has embarked on a journey of scientific discovery since its historic landing in 2012. The recent revelation of ancient mud cracks by Curiosity has added a profound layer to our comprehension of Mars' past. Similarly, the China Space Agency has been making remarkable strides in Martian exploration, exemplified by the Zhirong rover's findings. China's approach to studying Mars has brought new dimensions to our understanding of the planet's geological and climatic evolution. The identification of changes in wind and sand dynamics on the Martian surface has unearthed crucial evidence evidence about past climate shifts. This discovery is not only a testament to China's technological capabilities, but also a testament to the collaborative nature of scientific inquiry. By actively contributing to the global understanding of Mars, the China Space Agency reinforces the importance of a unified effort in unraveling the complexities of celestial bodies beyond our reach. The significance of both NASA and China Space Agency's endeavors extends far beyond planetary exploration. These missions 
highlight the profound impact that scientific exploration can have on our collective knowledge and technological advance. The exploration of Mars, with its Earth-like features and potential to host life, offers a unique opportunity to expand our understanding of our own planet's past, present, and future. The comparative study of Mars and Earth's climatic processes provides insights that could prove invaluable for predicting and mitigating climate change on our home planet. Additionally, the discovery of potential past microbial life on Mars fuels our quest to answer one of humanity's most profound questions, are we alone in the universe? With much about the comparison of the approach to Martian missions by CNSA and NASA, it is time to wrap this one up. If you have any topics in mind, comment below, and we will cover them for you. As always, subscribe to never miss out. This is Race to Space, and we will see you in the next one.